What's up, gamers? Sorry. I'm just coming off of this emotional roller coaster that is the Life is Strange games. I'm just kidding. I actually love them so much. I can't even put it into flipping words. Thank you guys so much again for joining me today while we continue through this game. I am just, I am falling absolutely in love with Chloe and Rachel and their relationship and... It gives me both warm, fuzzy feelings inside and also deep, deep, deep despair. I think in the last episode, if you guys didn't watch it, we found, we came across um, what will be, if you played the first game, what will be like their hangout, which is that junkyard. And there was a very emotional moment that took place there. Um, so I think in the last episode, I experienced like, an entire range of emotions in like the short span of a half an hour so here we are will i ever not be prepared and not have a box of kleenex ever again no anyway again thank you guys so much for joining me i really 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 appreciate it thank you guys so much for all the recent support lately it has been seriously heartwarming and gives me so much motivation and so much inspiration that I didn't know I needed recently, so thank you for that. With that being said, let's get back into the game. Oh yeah, also I should say, please, keep the game ideas coming, keep the keep the content ideas coming. If you guys feel like there's a game kind of even remote, like similar to this, let me know. I'm also thinking about like later on once we kind of get through a lot of these games, I kind of want to play through um, like the Bioshock series, if you've ever played those, like, I really want to hit up a lot of masterpiece games and game series. Um, so yeah, Bioshock's been on my list. Uh, there's been a couple other ones that I can't think of right now. Oh, like Walking Dead, Wolf Among Us. If any of those pique your interest or if you've played them and you're like, yeah, yeah, you would absolutely love these, let me know down below right now, right now, right now, right now. Okay, let's get, let's start this. I just called to tell you that I miss you, my old friend. You know how much she loves country music. Why are you crying, sweetheart? <gasps> I just got creepy chills. Because you're not real. <laughs> I'm not. What is going on? Does she get some weird superpower that we don't know about? I guess I did that. Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? What bright side? You made a new friend today. How do you know? Rachel! I don't feel drunk. Gotta say, that was some fight. A lover's quarrel, you might say? <laughs> she nearly took your head off. Wait, what? You talking about Rachel? Uh, are we in a time loop? What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. The Tempest. What's past is prologue and shit. Sometimes people need you, though. She hitchhiking? Pick her up. Yes. Even when they don't admit it. What? <gasps> Rachel! Oh my god, I am not ever prepared for those. Oh my, I was like, wait. Did she actually get into a car accident? 
Oh God, Joyce. What about your mom? Poor Joyce, you can't do this to her. It's like thinking about the text message and I just like, oh, I feel so, I feel for Joyce. Still in the first episode too. Like these episodes are really long. I can't believe that's her dad's car. What's the significance of the crow? I feel like this would be the ep the end of episode one, or not? Maybe we don't get formal credits like we did in the first game. How'd she find her? Oh, that's the oak tree, the standoffish oak tree. You came. I'm glad. Hey. I couldn't let the day end with whatever this afternoon was. Chloe, I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? The ones who were making out? That was my dad. Oh. All right. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh. The worst part is... <laughs> I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought, I thought I could catch him or something. Careful what you wish for. <gasps> I'm so sorry, Rachel. I don't, I don't know what to say. Neither do I. Chloe, I love my dad. I love him, and I never want to see his fucking face again. When my dad died, I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream, and the other half, I forgot forgot that anything had changed it's silly but I've carried this photo around with me for years it's from Mount Hood my dad took me hiking there when I was 10 and it started raining and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car I remember screaming like I was gonna die but my dad he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and... Oh, He was just so strong, you know? I, I felt safe. You trusted him. Completely. Here. I mean... Chloe, I owe you an apology. 
Hey, we were both kind of the queen of shitty. No, I mean it. Whatever's going on between us, it's intense and new and awesome. And you had the courage to tell me that you feel it too. And I treated you like shit. Courage? I don't know if I'd call it that. More like blind desperation. And maybe a slight buzz from that wine. <laughs> I just want you to know... I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. Oh, yeah. You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? Two against one. But you wouldn't take any shit from them. Hell yeah. I'd be dead if you hadn't thrown that bottle. You inspired me. What about Drew? When he was picking on Nathan? You got right in his face. How'd she see that? And called him out. That was pretty sweet, actually. I thought she was in theater practice. See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with... I'm sorry, or... Him. Well, we don't know. Well, I hate... We can't judge people. You just can't. You can't judge her dad, even though what he did was shitty. He's still her dad. He still loves her. You know? Whatever's going on with his relationship with her mom, we don't know the full story. We can't be hostile. And you can absolutely love somebody and not really like somebody. I'm so sorry, hostile. Rachel. If, if, I have any, if I've learned anything in my life so far... to leave this place and never look back. Nothing's black and white. What's stopping us? Us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. Okay. He could still be a fantastic dad. But I always the best partner, you know? Shit happens. Chloe's and Max's strength in both these games is really here? inspiring, though. Like, they've both been through a lot, and to see them come out the other side consistently stronger and stronger is, like, to me, so inspiring. Even though they think they got it, they, they have it bad and they've had it bad and stuff, like, look at where they've been and where they are as characters. I feel like I know them. I feel like I know them. I feel like this feeling is why I think these are like the best story games of all time. Come on. Okay, let's not. That was not a good idea. <laughs> Smokey the bear would have something to say about this. Oh, if you were not in trouble before, you are in trouble now.
Well, I guess it's a good thing that it's a standalone tree, kind of off doing its own thing. Because if that was a chain reaction... Frank? <gasps> oh, sh <gasps> oh, no. Hey, it's Steph. Wait, does she just like not see this forest fire taking place? Oh, snap. Wow, what an ending. On to the next one. Deck nine games. Nice, yes, on to the next one. You attacked, you ran. Wait, attack two? Oh, oh, the, oh, the douche nozzles at the concert, right, okay. You were mean to Joyce, you were kind to Joyce. Glad to see 63% chose kindness. I'm just kidding. Um, you defended Nathan. Wow, again, wow, good job, guys. Congratulations. You told Rachel you are more than just friends. Ah, yeah, that's what I'm talking, this is why I love this community. Okay. Next. Took money, that's about pretty even. Ah, okay. I'm in the kind of minority though. <laughs> you purchased from Frank. You didn't? 69% giggity of you? Didn't purchase? What? Live a little. Just kidding, I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding, by the way. Um, you didn't read Joyce's self-help book. I don't think I saw it. You put the photo of William on the dresser, 69% giggity, nice. Didn't slip the, you didn't slip money into Joyce's purse. I didn't know you could do that. You told Elliot you would go to play with him, 75%. Only 1%, you told Skip his demo was just okay. <laughs> All right, cool. Exit. No one steals from me. I want my fucking money. Oh, oh, shh. Oh, is that the t-shirt guy? I just feel like I have no idea what you're talking about. Start. Oh, I guess my actions do have consequences. <laughs> Yikes, man. Yikers. Previously, on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey! Dickhead! Get the fuck out of here! Oh, it's my headphones. I'm like, it's my face. Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other. But you will respect me. Hello, Black Hell. Chloe, do something! Hey, do you know if Rachel is a gamer? How oh, she you is. Like to join me on a little field trip. Don't be surprised, Chloe. If one day I'm just out of here, let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. 
I ain't judging, but I still think the situation is doo doo. Was definitely not my mom. We don't know other people's situations, though. We don't know. You can't cast judgment. You don't know other people's situations. Just gotta remember that. I'm always really so quick sometimes. Oh, is this Principal Wells? Yeah, skipped in school, starting forest fires. <gasps> oh. Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then just sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. <laughs> and the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. is violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? <laughs> Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? <laughs> oh, sorry. Wait, is he, is he still talking? Okay, hold on. Um, is that rhetorical? Say nothing. Don't, don't screw. I feel like she would say, is this rhetorical? What would Chloe Are do? Are you asking or is that rhetorical? <laughs> Disrespectfulness. Oh my God. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Swear words? Witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan Prescott. The hell I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. And Chloe's situation is less sensitive? I do not discuss other students' situations. We are here to discuss your daughter and her actions. Convenient. <laughs> Calm Wells. Principal Wells. I know this looks bad. Thank you for your validation, Miss Price. May I continue? With your permission? <laughs> Sorry. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... Oh. You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to- I made her do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. Oh. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me, but only to keep me safe. <laughs> I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe, that you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? What was that? <laughs> of course, of course. Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. She's Chloe, is this true? She's it's just, true. Wow. Totally not true. 
She really is an amazing actress. Holy smokes. Miss Price. Fine, yes. It was her idea, but it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. <laughs> Red. Yeah. Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or... Coerce her? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why someone like Rachel... What a loaded question. Clear, Principal Wells. Someone like Rachel, but not my daughter. Excuse me? Do you have a list of students you assume the worst about? Enjoyed the show. You have no right to treat Chloe this way. This is because she's on financial aid, isn't it? Let's all just calm down. Oh. After everything we... She's been through in the last two years. You should be ashamed of yourself. Miss Price. Mrs. Price. Mrs. Price. I appreciate your position, but I assure you, it is only your daughter's past behavior that has led us here today. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. Oh. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. Oh, no. No. Oh. What? Are you insane? The performance is tonight! I don't want to say he's insane. It might make it worse, though. But the performance is tonight. For someone so aware of our school calendar, Miss Price, I would expect fewer absences <laughs> on your record. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. Please, no. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, <gasps> accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy... Victoria Chase. Oh! Yes, I'm sure Victoria oh! Chase will do fine. Uh, that is what such... What was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next. Unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Oh, anybody but Victoria. I gotta, I gotta take the blame. No I want to see the is Rachel show. The play for me. I'm not. Mm -hmm. But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. To succeed in back talk, listen to your opponent and choose a related comeback. Okay. We got this. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe. <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was Little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. This shouldn't be so hard. If it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, then it's gotta be a fucking duck, right? <laughs> Quack. <gasps> Rachel confessed. I'm not listening to this nonsense. I confess to thinking she can act like a motherfucker. You just bought her crap. Hook, line, and sinker. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not one of your sycophants. I'm a lone wolf, and you're a little Red Riding Hood. 
Welcome to Grandmother's house, bitch. Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. Hell no. Fine. Oh, Mr. Wait. Wells, I'm sorry for exposing the flaws in your campus security. This must be very embarrassing for you. Why come forward now? I'd commend you for your honesty, if not for everything else. Why not tell the truth? Why? To tell the truth, for once. Something that happens so rarely around here. Oh! Everybody lies. I've heard enough. To dig on the dad, I think. Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Oh, dang it! You will not be removed from the play. Yes! Was that so hard? Thank you. And Miss Price, I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year, with a chance for reinstatement in the fall. And now? You are expelled. Oh. What? No. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. Oh, oh, oh shit. I thought he was like, you can stay. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. It was worth it. Up yours, Victoria. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Worth it. I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. Oh, uh, uh, okay. I thought she came healing out of the office. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price. I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. Oh. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Oh, man. Mom, I... I'll see you in the parking lot. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me. Hey, Skip. You know I was supposed to have today off, right? <laughs> Sorry that my totally fair and impartial hearing inconvenienced you, man. Yeah. Poor Skip. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. <laughs> um, oh, we gotta take the cat photo. Dad got Bongo from the rescue shelter. What a great cat name. Then he got run over by a car. Moral oh. of the story, no one's ever really rescued. Deep! This game just constantly just hitting me with more. More. We gotta take Bongo the cat, though. I'm gonna name my next cat Bongo. Be like, this is dedicated to Chloe. Love how every time someone tells me how much potential I have, it's right before saying how I'm wasting it all. And, aw, oh, man. That trash it. Ugh. Chemistry. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. <laughs> what does that say? <laughs> Wonder who will grace this space <gasps> after me. Excuse me. Oh, snap. Sign it. Should I be doing that right in front of him, though? Almost. <laughs> Chemistry book. Is she actually gonna take it, though? Chem was the class I hated the least. Aww. Chemistry is fun, honestly. Oh! Ooh. 
Okay. I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh well. <laughs> locker look. Having Justin as my locker neighbor was one of the few not shitty things about this place. Hmm, if Chloe leaves Blackwell at 11 a.m., going 100 miles per hour, <laughs> how long will it take her to get as far away as fucking possible? <laughs> ew, that, ew, that half-eaten moldy donut. Gross. Didn't even put it on a napkin. I should write a poem to mark the occasion. Something with... <laughs> imagery. Absolutely, positively the best concert of 2008. Too bad it's time to go. Well, why would you trash it? Why wouldn't you read it? Or why wouldn't you keep it metal? What? Oh, finally. What I actually came here for. Again, right in front of here, Skippy. Don't look. Jackpot. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait. What the hell? Damn it, Justin. <gasps> Chloe, hey yo, I had to borrow your stash. Desperate times, you know? I promise I'll get back to get you back next week, Justin. Well, there's not gonna be a next week though. Thanks, Justin. At least you know Justin's cool. Oh rip. Stages Fuck keep getting every worse. Inch of this place. <laughs> I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me. Uh bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? Brave New World! Hey, have you ever read that book? Great book. Had to read it for school and it was actually one of the more enjoyable ones. As much it is, as it is vandalism, it's also art. God, this, this game, these games just keep getting better. It's like unfair at this point. It's like, how good can it get? Oh, it's. Whoa. The head of Bigfoot in the back of that car. I don't care, I don't care anymore. I don't care, I don't Later, care. Skip. Later. Later. Hmm. Later. Oh no. Looks like David's here. 
Ooh, Rachel. Ooh. Wells blows. That meaning hella sucked. You're hella weird. You are. Seriously, it's okay. Yesterday was worth it. I love their, I love their relationship. Awesome. Is it weird now that I, I like get really excited about like looking at all of the surrounding stuff? Drugs Even the signs. Here. Man, why didn't anyone tell me before? Drug free zone. You're within 1,000 feet of a drug free zone. Purchase or sale of drugs in this area is a felony. Like at first I was like, when I started playing these types of games, I was like, do I really want to look at every little thing? And thought it was kind of weird. But now that I, I look forward to it now and I love reading them because it really does a good job of immersing me in everything. Max in their whole like universe. I'll get a feel for how, you know, pretty much everything in their world goes. The future needs excellence because of the generous grant of the Prescott Foundation. Black Bell, Black Bell, <laughs> Blackwell will be offering several new courses next fall designed to nurture the artistic gifts of its students. Uh, visual concepts, intro to composition, intro to ceramics, intermediate Photoshop. Oh, intro to car character modeling and animation, photography, independent study by invitation only. Special thanks to Caroline Prescott. That's cool. I would love to take any of those classes. Now I'm like, gotta check everything. Moped. I want one Any of those. guesses whose bike this is? And they all start with Miss Grant. Damn. I guess I will miss one thing about this place. Don't. Wait, what does that say? <gasps> Miss Grant is without a doubt the coolest. Wells' car. Crushing spirits must pay pretty well. <laughs> oh. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bigfoot. Oh, I was right. It was Bigfoot. Taking pride in Blackwell Athletics means taking pride in yourself. Also, the trustees and their enormous bank accounts. She's not wrong. Oh, <gasps> who would throw away a flipping skateboard? At least I'll have uh, plenty of free time to take up skateboarding again. If I feel like it. Someone's trying a bit too hard Ear with cheese. those bumper stickers. Lung butter. Wait, what? Lung butter? Ear cheese. Disgusting. Ghouls and girls. Sneaky dot. <laughs> Bone cake. What are these all names of bands? Like, what is this? I listen to the band Ear Cheese. My other vehicle is drama. <laughs> I make throw up sounds all the time in disgust. Me and Chloe, I think, are. I think we're soulmates. I think we're soulmates. No more extracurricular activities. Enter no the more Vortex Club. Extracurricular activities either. Tempest Party, Blackwell Slipping Pool, all Blackwell students welcome. <laughs> Not me anymore. But whenever I needed to bum one. No one here smokes. Ugh. Fuck this place. Where is that kid? Oh wait, what the hell? Maybe they'll use my scholarship money to finally fix this pothole. I guess this fire is no joke. Still can't believe Rachel started it. High alert. Due to a forest fire in the area, Arcadia Bay is on high fire safety alert. Know your role. 1. Respond to fire alarms immediately and in an orderly fas fashion. 2. Review your emergency exit locations in school and at home. 3. Discuss emergency protocol with your parents or guardians. Do your part to help keep Arcadia Base safe. And then let's talk to Elliot. Hey! Elliot and I have gone to school together since we were in kindergarten until today. Hey, Elliot. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. I was <laughs> expelled. Wait, really? <gasps> Holy shit! I know. I'm surprised it took <sighs> this long, too. Aww. Do you want a hug? Um, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Give him a hug, come on. Oh, <laughs> it's like, kind of sweet. Thanks. 
Was Rachel Amber involved? Maybe. Yeah. And let me guess, did she get off scot-free? Well, yeah. But she tried to cover for me. Uh-huh. <gasps> anyway, what are you doing here? What? I thought I should come early to grab tickets. For the Tempest? You said we might see it together. Oh, uh, right. Oh, no. Good call. Did you get my text about hanging out afterwards? Yeah. I mean, I'm not really big on making plans, but maybe. Cool, cool. Uh, sounds, sounds good. Oh, I better go. Uh, my mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on me. Her boyfriend. Uh, don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. Yeah. Later. Poor Elliot. Him and Warren seem like such sweet guys. All right, Joyce. It's about Hit damn me with time. It. David, please. Mom is clearly fighting to hide her disappointment, which, of course, just makes this worse. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Hmm. <laughs> Can we please do this later? Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? Like how to have no job? Or how to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? There's nothing wrong with waiting tables, Mom. Chloe, I'm proud to wait tables because it means you can be whatever you want to be. But what is that, Chloe? What do you want? Maybe... I don't know yet. Maybe you've had long enough to figure it out. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I don't want to fight. I care about your mother very much. And you too. I'd like for us to start over. What do you say? Sure. Sure. Reset button pressed. Yes. I am glad to hear it. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. <gasps> Not my dope! Mom. Chloe, <laughs> I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. Well, I guess it's good that Justin the stole fuck? her, you know. If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe, and I'm sorry, but David feels- Joyce. We feel this is the best way to start fresh. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. Oh, no. <laughs> Comply. Fine. You want to see I my shit so badly? the situation worse. I don't think she's got anything in her pocket. Gum, cigarettes, a pen, some candy that's Rachel's, I think. 
Bobo, Bongo, Bobo, <laughs> Bongo the cat. I want a panda keychain now. I want one. Can I buy Ooh, one? Weed. Oh no, the horror. Happy. It's marijuana, all right. No, Chloe, I am not happy. But I am relieved that you came clean. I hope this can be the beginning of a new chapter for us. Marijuana. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. Well, what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. The horror! No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened, uh, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. I'm pretty sure she made it very clear. I know I fucked up. Mom, I... I, I know I fucked up. I, I'm a fuck up. I'm sorry. Are you sorry? You don't even know what you're apologizing for. I've been shutting you out even though I've needed you and me. you need me and I know that. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. She gonna close the door. Oh, hey. I knew there it. is no home, not if he's there. <gasps> Chloe, let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. a good one. Ooh, what'd you guys think? Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed. I am just loving this much. Oh, I love this game so much. I gotta look up merchandise. I gotta, I now have like this really weird thing right now where I just want to go out and go buy like a bunch of Life is Strange merch. I want to go get a panda keychain. I want to go get a shirt that says Life is Strange on it or something. I don't know. Maybe they have something cool or like a beanie. I need to start wearing more beanies. I'm sorry. I'm just like attack hiccups. Thank you so much for subscribing and for liking the video. I hope you guys are enjoying um, the series of Life is Strange Before the Storm. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.